and rolling. Hi guys, it's your girl Shakira, but I'm known as Color Me a Jungle on Instagram and TikTok. Ha! Now I haven't really been posting on TikTok like that, but I want to post more because it's just like more fun on there. It's like you feel like you have a family on there, right? So we're gonna test it out, see how that goes. Now I'm trying to figure out my post days. I don't know if I want it to be like uh, Thursday and Sunday. Or maybe like a Monday or a Wednesday. We're gonna test that out. So we're gonna see how that goes. And yeah, let's get started. Where are you? Where? So this is my yarn storage. Are you ready to see what's inside? Because I'm ready to show you. We have to get a little bit more closer so you can see me. Like, not see me. I mean, y'all want to see me. <laughs> so you can see the yarn in more detail. Because I feel like we were so far away. We just need to be more closer together. You know what I'm saying? So, this is my yarn storage. I got this from Amazon. And I had to build it over myself now. The thing is, it was like a teamwork. My father. Whoa. Not my father. Wow. The father of my twins. <laughs> had helped me build this together so it was me the father of my twins and my mother and a little bit of help from my sister <laughs> we had built all this together because this is like it needs a lot of assistance so and i also have this um lock thing because you know i have twins i have fraternal twins and they like to get into stuff you know little kids they just like to get into stuff they're gonna be two years old in july well pretty much next month so that's exciting so here is the beautiful yarn now I know it's a little bit messy over here I do have to fix it up so maybe I'll do that in another video but for now it's all about showing you all of my yarn now we're gonna start from the top and then we're gonna work our way all the way down and then once we get to this side I'm gonna see because I even have like yarn I even have yarn and a storage bin over here and I even have yarn and a storage bin over here I even have yarn and some bags so when I first started knitting I was just starting to see all the beautiful yarn that I could buy and all the patterns that I wanted to make so I just started buying all the yarn to match the patterns that I wanted to make now let me show y'all real quick of how many patterns I have in my email like y'all want to see like it's like real serious I even had to put it in a folder so I could keep up with like see look patterns I love I don't know if y'all can see. what the heck hold on now hold on now come on now it is listed as patterns I love I don't know if y'all can see that but yes it's in patterns I love and this is all what is it doing come on man this is all of the pattern <laughs> that I have bought. <laughs> and like, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's nowhere near the stuff that I want to create and make. Like, the stuff that you see on my, my Instagram page, that's a little bit. It's like nothing yet. So, yes, y'all. So, let's begin on this side. And we're work our way all the way down and then we're gonna go to this side and work our way all the way down and I also have yarn on this door here we can't really see it but I'm just gonna try to show all of yarn that that's like in the same family so and another thing before we start yeah see I have all the yarn in the front right all the yarn in the front that you can physically see easily and I also have yarn that's stuck in the back. I know it's a lot. But <laughs> okay, so here we have the beautiful. It's um the company called Hip Knit Shop. They are on Instagram. They have a page. I'll link it below so you can just go to them if you'd like to. It's a hundred percent extra fine merino wool. Now. Let's show this beautiful yarn in full detail. You see how like 
the, the body of the yarn is pink, but it has specks of different colors. I have pink, yellow, and orange. It's so, so pretty. Like, it's very, very it, it reminds me of, like, the summertime, you know? Summertime is finally here, so that's really, really great. So, yes, guys, beautiful, beautiful yarn. And they call this the Flamingo, which is pretty cool. It's 50 grams and 115 uh, meters I'm guessing that's what it means so yes guys and you can use this for 3 through 4.5 millimeter needles so hey guys this is mainly for like baby clothes like hats sweaters scarves this is made for babies and I have twins so that's the only reason why I bought it for them next color next here we have an all pink by the same company same type of gram, same yards, and it's in this beautiful pink. So yeah, I've been thinking a lot about using this for my daughter. So yeah, that's exciting. I know y'all see the colors like coming out, like like coming through. Y'all see, see that purple and blue right there? Next we have this beautiful, beautiful brown. Oh, I love this brown. And they call this... Coffee Toffee. Oh, sorry. And they call the pink Hubba Bubba Pink. That is so freaking cute. Hubba Bubba Pink. <laughs> so, yes, this is called Chocolate Toffee. It's just, like, so pretty. I was thinking about making a hat for my son. I feel like this brow would look really, really nice on his skin tone. So, we're going to see how that goes. So, now here we have this beautiful, beautiful dark gray. By the same company, same texture of yarn. With we are still in the same family right now, and they call this groovy dark gray. I love that groovy. It's just so cool, yo. Know? So yes, guys, I was thinking about making maybe like a scarf or a hat. A hat like this. This would be fire. Even a sweater. Now here. It's from the same company, but they call it hip wool because it's thicker and it just, it will nip, knit up quicker, way more than, way more faster than the yarn of pop that I have showed y'all. Now, in this color, let's see, I'm placing all of my yarn on my bed in order so I don't forget. They call this lavender. Now, this lavender is very, very beautiful. Okay, very beautiful. I don't know what I would make me with this. Definitely a sweater. A whole, like a whole jumper. This would definitely keep you warm in the cool days that's coming. But some of you started, so let's, 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 let's not get into that yet. We have this beautiful, beautiful pop color. And they call this Falling For You Blue. Oh! Now, the thing is, I never read these colors until right now. <laughs> I love the, the name for this color. It's like, uh, I don't know what kind of blue you would call this. What do y'all think this color blue, like, would be, like, the name for it? So, yeah, it's really, really pretty. Very, very pretty. I was thinking about making a cardigan with this, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Now, here, as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit to get this out. Now, this is from Wool and the Gang. I know everybody knows about Wool and the Gang. They're a very popular yarn company. And this is in Camel Rose. Now, I have no clue of what to do with this yarn. Like, I am truly, truly lost. Like, I don't know. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Now, this yarn is from... Hobby, the Hobby Company, what they call it, Hobby Yarn, something like that. Um, see, the thing is, the thing is with this, I don't think I really like this yarn. These two beautiful colors, this one is called, let's see, let's see, let's see, hee hee. Uh, hold on, do they have a name for it? I don't think they have a name for it. No, there's no name for it. That's they have a name on the website for it, but I don't see it listed here for some reason. It's really, really weird. But yes, y'all, this is like in the pink family. 
of um, yarn and this is more like a lilac you would say I guess it's so weird they don't have a name for this they just have a number for the color but on the website they name the color I think they do but yeah yeah I started something with this color but the only thing I dislike about this is that it's very rough like you will have to definitely use this with mohair yarn to make it more soft and complement the mohair yarn because this yarn by itself I mean it's okay but it's not all that like I don't know it's very very weird so yeah y'all it's so crazy because I have so much of this color like I don't know what to do with it tell me what to do with this <laughs> Some more yarn dark gray that I have same company it's um easy care merino wool 100% wool pretty cool and we also have this beautiful color this reminds me of like spring slash summer really spring time guys. no name on these um batches so I'm so sorry but it's definitely from hobby yarn and I also have like this navy blue really nice this is mainly for like a man you would say da, da, da. surprisingly I do have black yarn because this is probably the only black yarn that I have to be honest like and I have like a chunky yarn in black but I think that's about it to be honest and I have like a, another brand I don't really have a lot of black because black is not like my go-to color within yarn I also have it in this white color this beautiful beautiful green now this green I would definitely use but I don't know I don't know what to do with this I really don't like this brand of yarn I have no clue somebody help me in the comments come on I know y'all got ideas don't you what's going on so that was it for my top shelf yarn <laughs> which was really really a lot so let's go down to here oh now this is the same brand of yarn, so I'm going to take down the same brand of yarn so it can be more easier. And I started something with this, but I don't know if I even want to complete it. I don't know. And I also started something with this. It's like barely anything. Okay, now we are at the second row on this side of town of yarn. So this is mainly from... We are knitters. It's mainly petite wool and merry wool over here, and also wool in the gang with the Al Pacino merino wool yarn in this section here. So here we have this cool looking uh, black and white. It's kind of like reminds you of like a static of a TV type of feel. Now this is they call this spotted black, but they should have called it static TV. That would have been really really cool. So yes, guys, I got this from petite wool. <laughs> I got this from We Are Knitters a while ago, and I thought, huh, this would be really, really cool to knit something out with this, so, yeah. We also have this beautiful, beautiful green. This is like a forest green. It's superwash merino wool, 100% of it, and this is just beautiful. Like, look at this. I kind of think it kind of looks blue on camera, but it's actually green. It's like a forest green. I don't know why it's doing that on the camera. And they call this, yeah, forest green. I was right. Have this beautiful, beautiful blue. Oh, look at that. On the camera, it looks fire. But yes, y'all. And they call this one navy blue. And this is the Mary Wall 100% Super Wash. It's 150 grams. Um... Well, sorry, 150 yards and 136 millimeters, I'm guessing you would say. And you could use this for a 5 or 6 mm needle. This is the beautiful petite wool. Now, this looks red, right? When I bought it, I thought it was pink because the name of the color is called Spotted Pink. But in person, it looks red. It's really, really weird. I don't get it. <laughs> and this is... I'm 100% wool, uh, and it's 150 yards, so, and you can use this for 8mm needle. Now I have this light gray and dark gray and petite wool. Very, very pretty. Now I wanted to make like a sweater with this, but I'm not sure. They call this tape, and they call this one pearl. I love that name, pearl. 
girl. This is so pretty. So as you can see here, very, very beautiful. This is in petite wool. And you can use an 8 millimeter with this as well. And this is 153 yards. So, yes, guys. All of this is the same, so I'm going to take that down. This is kind of actually helped me because I can organize <laughs> organize this way, way better. Now, this is so fire. I love yarn like this where it have like a whole like specks of different colors on it. This is Mary Wool, Super Wash, Super Wash Mary. It is 100% Super Wash Merino Wool. It's 150 yards. And you can use 5 or 6mm needles with this. So freaking pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <sighs> Same Mary Wool. But I have it in the pink. That I don't know what to do with. And this beautiful, beautiful green. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Guys, look at these huge buttons that I bought from Amazon. <laughs> now, I only bought this because it's this chunky sweater that I had recently noticed. And this one of the girls had used this button for the chunky yarn that she used. And I, well, not if this exact one, but it was big like this. So, we're going to get into these big, <laughs> these big, huge buttons. I think it would be really, really cute on the cardigan that I'm gonna make for like the fall weather. Now, we are gonna get into Wall in the Gang. Now, Wall in the Gang, it truly has my heart. I mean, it's very pricey, but I catch them like when they have a sale. Cause you know, their yarn is very, very beautiful and it's great quality, but the price is like, why? Why, you know? Here we have the beautiful Feeling Good yarn from Wall in the Gang. I freaking love this yarn. It's like so soft and like chunky at the same time. Now, if you was to use like one thread of yarn by itself, it will come out really thin. But two yarns together, it really complements each other very well. Now, the colors that I have here is Cinnamon Dust, Mineral Pink, Bronzed Olive, and lilac powder now these great i really recommend getting these i recommend getting all of the yarns that i showed except for the ones that i said it was too rough like by yourself it needs to be with mohair yarn so yeah guys now we're gonna get to the alapicho merino yarn these beautiful yarns that i have here the top one is called rock salt red the second one, Sahara Dust. I love Sahara Dust. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you're like into neutral colors, definitely get Sahara Dust. And the next one is called Camo Rose. I love Camo Rose and Sahara Dust together as well. It's very, very pretty. They complement each other very, very well. And here we have Chalk Yellow. So, so pretty. I also have... Oh. Yeah, I see that coming. It's blue. This like magic mint green, and I also have uh -oh, magic red. Now this red, I don't know. I can't really get with. I'm not really feeling this one at all. Like it looks pretty on the website, but in person, it's like okay. I mean, it's really pretty. You just have to knit up the correct item with this, I would say. And I also have it in ivory white. This reminds me of like winter feels, you know? Now, this yarn I had got from Hobby Yarn. It's a classic acrylic yarn and it's very, very big and bulky. You can make like a ton of things with this in one um, ball, as you can see here. Now this color, I don't think they have the color listed here either. But this is like a mint green, I would say. This is the yarn here. It's very, very pretty. Like I want to do something with this, but I don't really know what to make with this. 
these are my super cool needles that I had got from We Are Knitters. And the thing about this, like these needles, I don't really like like them. Like, like when I knit with them, it starts to hurt my wrist for some reason. I don't know what it is, but yeah. So the sizes I have is 12 mm and 15 mm, and I think that's it, and 8 mm. So. Yeah, guys, I don't really like it. So whoever wants them, I will happily give it to you. Happily give it to you. <laughs> Y'all, y'all see this beautiful, beautiful purple. Now, I thought I was getting maybe uh, like three items of this, but one of the items, this yarn here is very, very expensive. This was like, I think like 20 something dollars or something. Or 30 something so when I paid like the 30 well I don't remember the exact part but I don't know it was 30 something I thought I was getting like four but they only sent me one what like, I don't even know if I want to buy it again because it's so expensive but it's very very beautiful but I don't really know what to do with it at all like I really do not know oh look at this green y'all so this green reminds me it gives me like Christmassy feels like fancy feels you know like like new year's eve feels you know stuff like that so i definitely want to make a cardigan with this because i feel like this green looks really really nice on my skin tone here is some more of the mega ball that i have <laughs> now honestly I don't know why I bought this yarn, but I can definitely do a lot with this. So if any of you who have any idea of what to do with this yarn, please let me know down below. Because I would love to know. Because this is a lot to work with. Okay? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> also have it in this beautiful black. And I guess you would say this is like, it's in a purple family. They don't have the colors listed. I don't know why. But on the website, they definitely do. So I don't get that, but... Let's continue. <laughs> now, this yarn I had bought a while ago, I think it's from um, Wool Warehouse, if I'm not mistaken. This was when I was into crocheting. Um, I still like crocheting, but I'm just not interested in doing it anymore. I don't know. Knitting has taken over my heart. So, I was making like a throw for my bed. Ooh. But I don't know where I put it so I can show y'all. Dang it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it so I can show y'all what I was making with that yarn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I freaking found it. Okay, so I was definitely making a, a throw for my bed. This was like a while ago when I didn't know what colors I wanted in my room and stuff. So yes, y'all, this is the yarn that I was using. For this and I, it, it was really cool and solid color too so yeah I don't know if I even want to continue it because I have a lot more to go but we're gonna see I don't know it's so freaking cool huh now this is crochet and I don't know what you, what you would call this pattern but I found this girl on um YouTube when I was still into crocheting I will try to link well put her name so y'all can like follow the instructions if you like to so yeah, I love this. Now looking at it, it's like, wow, like it's bringing me back. Like I was really in love with crocheting, but I always um, wanted to knit first before crocheting. So yeah, this is like, wow. <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna end it off here. I know, I know, I still have a lot to go, but I wanna put this in two parts. So yeah, so don't forget, to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on Instagram at Color Me a Junkle so you can always keep up with what I post and what days I post. So you can just never be lost in the sauce with what I got coming. So yeah. I think I'm going to go with Thursdays and Sundays, but we're going to see how this goes first. We're going to test it out. Testing things out because you know I'm still new to this. And yeah, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.